Hello, my name is Niels Reiter and I'm a veterinarian for birds. And here I have a pigeon in this uh, pet carrier. It's a Fente pigeon and it is suspected to suffer from or be infected with uh, Chlamydia psittaci. That is a bacteria common found in any bird and uh, uh, especially in pigeons and parrots. And it's also called ornithosis or psittacosis. The disease. It is a bacteria and the bacteria can be identified with a special test. That is a test from Avian Labs and you can have a look at the website avianlabs.com to find out more. Anyway, I will show you how to perform this test and it's a box here with some stuff in. It's a user manual, just one single page, easy to understand. You have some bottles with a buffer that is, uh, and here you have uh, some small tubes to collect the uh, material from the pigeon. And here you have uh, test strips, and that is a small plastic cassette with uh, the test is actually carried on middle in here, and it's a small pipette. And then we need a small cotton stick to take the sample from the pigeon. Um, I will show you how to do that. <clears throat> this pigeon is not very used to be handled for this purpose, so it will maybe struggle a bit. But uh, this is a fentail pigeon, so it is quite difficult from a, from a, from a, a racing pigeon, but it has a beautiful <laughs> fentail, and uh, therefore many people like these pigeons. Um, uh, here's a cotton stick and if a pigeon have uh, some wet eyes it's typical where the bacteria could be so we take it rub very very gently over the eye of the pigeon and you can do it on both sides in case the you never know really where the bacteria are so we want to be sure to get those who are coming out of the pigeon <clears throat> in the nostrils you can Push a bit on each nostril to be sure that any uh, snot is coming out there and take that with you on the <coughs> cotton stick. And then <coughs> in the mouth, in the beak, they don't like this uh, very, very much, so <laughs> but uh, that will work. Uh, they normally have some slime up in the guana here. And <coughs> There we got some of it, and in a fourth place we can collect some uh, bacteria that could be <coughs> in the cloaca of the pigeon. And uh, you can't see it very well, but here we are, and we. One minute, here we are. Yep, and it, we just get it here and <clears throat> I see also we have some dropping here on the table so I take a bit of that as well so now we have all places where we can expect the bacteria to come out of the pigeon we put all this together into this little tube and we add five drops of the buffer A with a red cap one two three Four, five, and we mix this well. Because now we are cleaning the slime from the bacteria, so the bacteria are exposed and not covered in any slime anymore. Now we have to neutralize this uh, cleaning, so we. Add five drop of the same buffer of the buffer B with a white cap. One, two, three, four, five. So now we get a bit of a fluid in here. We mix it well, and then we should wait, according to the user manual, 20 seconds before adding the the buffer B. But we have hurry a bit up so you don't get bored. Uh, then we suck up some of this material, this liquid, up to the, in the pipette. And then we have already opened this uh, cassette and we add 
three or four or five drops in this round window here. One, two, three, four, five. We do sufficient here. And then we just have to wait a few uh, minutes. So the uh, liquid have got the time to be sucked up over this or in this window up here it's coming already that's good you see here it is uh, it's getting wet and it's getting a, a reddish color or uh, getting a color on it anyway and you see things happen here it's floating up the liquid and in the liquid there are clean bacteria and they will react with this so there are two places where the bacteria will react that is at the sea area that is an area for control only to see the test is working well it is not frozen it has not become too hot it's not too old it is working well in the area we are really interested in that is here a bit further down it's a T here telling the test area and you can see it already here that at the C area we get the stripe now you can see it here on the test the stripe quite high up here lower in the T area you can't see any stripe like that so if but if you get a stripe there then you have a positive test so if you have two stripes that means positive and positive in this context means you can find the bacteria in the specimen you have taken from the pigeon if it is negative that means there are no bacteria in this specimen and the pigeon is not shedding any bacteria so luckily this pigeon is free from chlamydiosis from chlamydia or at least it's not shedding any bacteria at this moment so it's uh, good and that means for me as a veterinarian I am not uh, I cannot be infected from this pigeon uh, if because pigeons actually can infect people parrot can infect people and you get a terrible flu which will not uh, respond well on normal treatment so uh, watch out for that <clears throat> Avian Labs have all, so has also developed uh, other tests. This is a chlamydia test. This is for paramyxovirus in pigeons. We have for salmonella in pigeons and also adenovirus or young bird disease in the pigeons. Uh, so if you are interested in finding out more about the tests, have a look at the webpage uh, avianlabs.com and uh, you can probably also find your country representative or you can find an address so you can purchase uh, tests directly from the laboratory. Thank you for uh, uh, looking at the test and I hope your pigeons will be healthy and do well during this season and in the future. And using tests is a very good, good tool to monitor the health status of your bird, your birds. Thank you for viewing this little video. Thank you.